In the previous lesson, we started writing the markup for our website and we finished the navbar and also the featured product area. Let's move on and we'll continue with the company area and the testimonials. So jumping back to Coda, let's say company info. And as you can see, the company info, testimonials and footer are all centered in the page. So we got to wrap them in a div with a class of container. We'll start with a section and then uh, we'll do a div with a class of row because we have two separate uh, columns here, left and right. So div row, which contains a div with a class of, let's do a span eight and a span four. The span eight will contain a heading. Let's do an H3, the company. And it also has a paragraph with some placeholder text. Let's do another paragraph with some more text. Let's check it out. All right, so far so good. Uh, let's add a, a separator between these two sections. So right here, I'm going to do an HR. All right, great. Now the motto, which is this, will be placed in the span four. And we'll use a well to do that. So paragraph class well, let's say something like this. Let's check it out. And we want to align this well with this text right here. So I'm gonna move the H3 above the row like that and also let's make this a bit larger so i'm going to add the class of well large to increase the padding and also a bigger text we'll use the class of lead like this and also centered text text center okay perfect and that's the first section done let's move on to the testimonials All right, now the testimonials also has a title, H3. Okay, and we have a slider, which will contain our testimonials. Slider refers to the carousel control in Bootstrap. So we'll start with div class carousel. Let's give it an, an ID of testimonials and we'll do div with a class of carousel inner. This is required for uh, the proper styling of the carousel. And each slide will be represented by a div with a class of item. Inside it, we'll just have a simple block quote, which contains a paragraph and a small tag for the author. Like this. All right, some simple text. Actually, let's do this as testimonial one by John. Okay, we'll copy this three times. And we'll add the class of active to the first item so that it will be shown first. Let's check it out. All right, pretty good. Now we got to initialize this carousel and we'll do that with a simple script right on the bottom get rid of this and we'll say document ready it's going to be a function so when everything is loaded we'll target the carousel control We'll call the carousel method and also pass in a parameter, which is the interval 
at which the slice will change. Let's put it at around five seconds. Also, let's change the text to testimonial two and three. So we can see that it's working. That's two and that's three. Great. Finally, we'll add some simple indicators for uh, the carousel. So right up here above the carousel inner, I'm going to say OL with a class of carousel indicators. Now the list item will have the data target set to testimonials, which is the ID of the parrot carousel. And also data slide to zero, which means when you click it, it's going to go to the first slide. And actually this should be right here on the actual list item. All right, let's duplicate this three times because we have three slides. Change data slide to the number of the actual slide. And we're going to add the class of active on the first one. So now nothing is showing right now in terms of indicators because we need to write some custom CSS to change their color. By default, uh, they are set to white. Uh, with some uh, very light transparency. So we'll do that in the very last video. All right, let's move on. And let's add an HR here to separate the content. Okay, and let's move on to the footer. Okay, the footer has two parts. The first one is with the center aligned text. And then the social icons and the copyright information. So let's do a section which contains a paragraph. Let's do a class of lead and also text center. And this one should be wrapped in a div in an anchor text. Sorry. Okay. All right, let's add another HR. And finally, we'll place the footer information next. And we'll use an UL with a class of inline. And instead of the social icons, because Twitter, uh, Twitter Bootstrap doesn't provide social icons by default. Uh, we'll use some simple text. So list item. First of all, we'll do strong. Follow us on. And then list item times three, which contains anchor text. And we'll say Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn. Let's check it out. Okay. Let's also add the class of text center to center everything in the page like this. And finally, we have a paragraph with a class of text center that says the basic copyright information. Okay. Let's check it out. Let's also add the class of muted so that the text is a very light gray. All right, that's basically it for the home page. In the next video, we'll take care of the contact us modal form. So I'll see you there.